Currently, one of the most profitable niches to dropship is clothing. The demand for this niche is absolutely skyrocketing at the moment. Now, the fact that this niche is so hot right now means that a lot of people are trying to get into it. So if you've been wanting to start your own clothing dropshipping business or break through the niche and stand out above all the rest and start your own fashion empire, then make sure to check out this video all the way through because I'm going to give you some of the best tips and tricks to help you start and grow your dropshipping business. I'm also going to be giving you some of the best clothing products to dropship. So let's go ahead and run that intro and let's get started. What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS and if you haven't done so already, remember to make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. On this channel, we cover some of the best tips and tricks and products to dropship so you can scale and grow your business. Every month we come out with new product videos to help you start making some sales and bring in some more money. Now, as always, to go along with this video, we're going to have an easy to reference cheat sheet. And if you want access to that, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below, hashtag fashion empire plus your takeaway from this video. Once I see that you commented that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing that we're going to cover is over 25 of the best products to start dropshipping for your clothing business. To start things off, the first category that we're going to be looking at is going to be coats, specifically coats for men. Men's coats are an extremely popular item, especially during the winter months. Usually during the colder months, these have a spike in sales. They're easy to match with pretty much any outfit, and they're super easy to put on and take off. On top of everything, they're pretty comfortable. Now, when we're talking about men's coats, there's a few different styles that really stand out above the rest and typically tend to sell better than others. Some of those styles include the varsity jacket, such as these. These can come in quite a few different designs, different styles, different colors. We also have the bomber jackets, which as you can tell, have a similar style to the varsity jackets. And we also have some of my personal favorites, which I actually think they look pretty cool because I just love the style. And that's the double breasted trench coat for men. So check these out. These actually kind of have like an old school look to them. And I personally think they look absolutely fantastic. So if you start selling these in your drop shipping store, just just don't even waste time, just target me and I'll buy out your entire inventory. Now, when it comes to men's coats, those have to be some of the more popular ones, but there's a few other styles that are definitely worth mentioning. Some of those include the zip up detachable hooded puffer coats. So those are the ones that are pretty puffy and they just feel soft when you touch them, They're super warm. You can also offer drawstring hooded jackets or lapel neck overcoats, thermal line puffer coats, corduroy coats, which those are actually pretty cool. The corduroy style is absolutely fantastic. I love how it looks and I really like how it feels. There's also the plaid print button front coat and sleeveless hooded puffer coats. Next up for men's fashion, similar to the coats, we have sweaters. Now, similar to the men's coats, men's sweaters are something that you can pretty much sell year round, but there are certain months where sales really spike. Let me show you really quick how you can find those particular times so you can start maximizing your profits. So to do this, we're going to need to go to Google Trends. Once we're under Google Trends, let's go ahead and type in the search men's sweater. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to get specific with any styles. We're just going to look for the generic men's sweaters. Now, as you can tell in the past day, there's been quite a few searches but this isn't what we're looking for. We're actually looking for the last year and the last five years. So to start, let's go ahead and click on the last five years. Now, as you can see, there's a particular time of the year where this product actually really starts to spike. Now, remember what we're looking at here in this graph is a five year span. So taking a look over here, we can see that the spike actually starts around August. So towards the end of summer, and then it starts to spike all the way to the top up until I would say about mid-December. And that was back in 2018. So if we look at 2018, we can see about the same thing. So around August, it starts to rise up and then it spikes towards the middle of December and then starts to go back down. Same thing the following year, around August, it has its nice little spike, tops up around the middle of December and then starts to go down. So using this data from Google Trends, we can really start to see when is the best time to start offering these products or in this case, men's sweaters. So if you want to start listing them, I would say some of the best times to start listing them is around the summertime. During the summer, start getting a collection of different styles and start listing them up on your website. That's the perfect time to start preparing for the spike, which will come right after summer. Now, moving on to some of the top sweater styles to dropship. The first one we're going to talk about is the cable knit sweater for men. These come in a few different styles and a few different colors, and you can also get them with or without buttons. Now, the cool thing about these is that they're actually super soft to wear. They feel really nice. Next up, we have graphic sweaters for men. These come in quite a few different styles, and the cool thing about them is the fact that they come with some pretty cool designs on them. You can find a design for just about any occasion. And the next one that we're going to mention is the turtleneck sweater. Now, the turtleneck sweaters are pretty pretty well known. They usually are knitted and have a pretty high neck. Some of the sweaters that are worth mentioning are the cut and sew sweater, the solid ribbed knit sweater, the quarter zipper sweater, and the patch detail sweater. And last but not least, the mock neck sweater. Up next in the men's fashion niche, similar to sweaters and kind of jackets,
pockets, we have sweatshirts. Now, typically sweatshirts tend to be just a little bit thinner than your typical sweater and are meant to be worn pretty much every day, all day. A lot of the times people use these instead of just their plain old t-shirts because sometimes they just feel more comfy. So kicking off our top picks for men's sweatshirts, we have the solid round neck sweatshirt. This is usually your solid sweatshirt. It has solid colors and a solid round neck. Next up, we have the ever popular drawstring hoodie. Everyone absolutely loves these. Everyone wears them all the time, including myself. Some other options that we have when it comes to men's sweatshirts can include the letter graphic thermal line sweatshirt, as well as the zip up drawstring slant pocket hoodie, the skeleton print zip up and the two-tone print zip up, the half button sweatshirt and the drop shoulder drawstring hoodie. Now, last but not least, when it comes to men's fashion, one of the hottest items to sell has to be jeans. Now, kicking off the top styles in the jeans section, we have none other than ripped jeans. These really don't need much of an explanation. As you can tell, they're pretty straightforward. They're jeans with little stylized rips in them. Next up, we have the light wash slant pocket jeans. Now, these are pretty similar to almost any other style of jeans, except for the fact that these are somewhat faded. So they have kind of a retro vintage faded style look to them. Now, for the third style of jeans on this list, we have cat scratch jeans. Now, the cat scratch jeans are fairly similar to the rip jeans, except rip jeans pretty much just have a huge hole in them where the rip is. Cat scratch jeans, on the other hand, have little stylized scratches around the entire garment. Now, a few other jean styles worth mentioning are the ripped frayed skinny jeans, the slant pocket loose jeans, and the flat pocket cargo jeans. So that pretty much does it for the men's section of this video. Now we're going to move on to our top picks for women's clothing. Now, as a quick reminder, everything that I'm covering in this video will be included in our cheat sheet, including all of the different links. And if you want access to that, once again, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag fashion empire, plus your takeaway from this video. Now, moving on to women's clothing must haves. Our first category for this is going to be sweaters. Now, if you're a guy that's watching this and you're anything like me, then you probably don't have any sweaters left because your wife took them all. Now, this seems to be a fairly common issue. Fear no more because we're going to be offering some of the best sweater choices so that way they can completely forget about ours. Now, to kick off this list, we're going to start off with the mock neck sweater. The mock neck sweater is fairly similar to the turtleneck, except for the fact that the neck part itself is just a little bit lower. The second item on this list is going to be the sleeve shrug cardigan. Now, as you can see, this comes in quite a few different styles and colors as well as lengths. These can be paired with just about anything and can be worn both professionally as well as casually. And then the third one on this list is going to be the two-tone cable knit sweater. So just like the rest, you can see that these come in quite a few different styles, sizes, and colors. A few other options that are worth noting are going to include the striped sleeve sweater, as well as the fringe trim bat wing sleeve duster cardigan. That's a pretty long one to say. The solid turtleneck ribbed knit sweater, the turtleneck ribbed knit crop top, a cable knit sweater vest, as well as the quarter zip drop shoulder sweater. Now, I know that some of the styles of these different types of garments are pretty complicated, but don't worry because all of this is going to be included in the cheat sheet. Just remember that. Also, if you want some more information on any of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video, if you just check out the description down below, there's going to be a link to a relevant article down there. So moving on to our second category in women's fashion, we're going to be talking about dresses. Now, dresses typically are going to be one piece of garment that is going to cover somebody from head to toe or head to legs. It really depends on how long they choose, but ultimately it's just a one piece garment. Now dresses also come in tons of different styles for almost any occasion. You can have professional ones, casual ones, cocktail dresses. The possibilities are absolutely endless. So if you decide to offer dresses in your drop shipping store, just make sure to offer all of the different variations that you can. So the first item on this list is going to be the ruffle helm belted dress. So as you can see, there's quite a few different variations when it comes to this, and these can be used both casually as well as professionally. These can be used for just about any occasion. The next item on this list is going to be the twist front cutout rutched bodycon dress. So as you can tell, just by looking at these different images, these tend to be a bit more dressy. They're a bit more elegant and would typically be used for going out to an event rather than going to the park or the movies or something like that. Next up, we have the solid backless tank dress. And just as the name implies, it is a solid dress with a bare back. Some other top tier dresses will include the tie dye cami bodycon dress, as well as the cutout tube bodycon dress, a draped collar chain dress, the backless rouge halter bodycon dress, floral print ruffle trim tie back dress, backless mermaid dresses, button thigh dress, and the split thigh tube dress. Now, similar to the men's section in this video, the next item on this list is going to be jeans. Now, for women's jeans, one of the more popular ones that you're going to be able to offer is the wide flare leg jeans. The wide flare leg jeans are pretty similar to bootcut jeans in the fact that Towards the end, they start to open up a little bit and become wider. Another extremely popular item in this category is going to be the straight leg leather jeans. So as you can see, these come in quite a few different styles and colors. A few other styles worth mentioning are going to be the high 
high-waist flat pocket jeans, as well as the high-waisted ripped wide leg jeans. We also have the high-waisted cargo jeans, along with the patched detail jeans, the boyfriend fit jeans, and the raw trim wide leg jeans. So for the final category for women's fashion, we're going to be covering tops. Now, the tops are going to include a wide range of different tops that women can use. So let's go ahead and get started. Kicking off this list is going to be one of my favorite styles, and that's going to be the long sleeve flannel shirt. Now, this is a fairly popular style that can be used pretty much year round. And as you can see, they do come in quite a few different colors as well as styles. These are always going to be button downs as well. Also, for the most part, these are for casual use. The next style on this list is going to be the solid cami crop top. So as you can see, going through AliExpress, you can find quite a few different styles and colors. The third style Style is going to be the wide strap rushed bust top. So this one's quite a bit different than the other one that we just saw, the cami top. I mean, they have their similarities, but as you can tell, there's a little bit of difference in the actual style. So in the front part, as well as the straps. Now, a few other popular styles are going to include the drawstring rush tee, as well as the drop shoulder graphic blouse, the asymmetrical neck rush tee, and the ruffle one shoulder top. Now that pretty much covers the hottest items that you can start drop shipping for your fashion empire. Now let's find out how we can actually start drop shipping these items and make making some money. So the first thing that you need to do is start doing some product research. Watching this video is actually a form of product research because you're learning about the different types of products that you can sell. But aside from that, there's tons of other resources that you can check out. So that way you can learn a bit more about the different products that are best to drop ship. For one, you can check out our blog section over at autods.com. We have a specific section with articles that are full of the best products that you can drop ship. Aside from that, you can just check out this YouTube channel that you're watching right now. Just head on over to the playlists tab. And once you're on there, you're going to see the sell these now playlist on there you're going to find tons of different videos with the best products to drop ship whether it be for a certain niche a certain season or any other occasion you're going to find it there as you saw earlier in this video when we were checking out the different products I was also using AliExpress. So AliExpress is a great website as well to do some product research. Once you're on the AliExpress website, all you have to do is go ahead and scroll all the way down and you're going to see a little option that says the DS Center. That's going to be the dropshipping center. Go ahead and click on that and you're going to be taken to the AliExpress dropshipping center. Here you can find tons of proven winning items that have been selling in the past. Not only that, but you can also get a star rating as well as how many have been sold. Now, another option that you have is the winning product section over at platform.autods.com. So once you're on your platform over at AutoDS, then you can just simply click on Marketplace. Right under that, you're going to see winning products. So go ahead and click on that. Now, somewhat similar to AliExpress dropshipping, here you're going to find tons of items that are proven best sellers that have been proven to sell in the past and are currently trending. Not only that, if you actually go ahead and click into one of these, you're going to get tons of details that can help you actually start selling and marketing this item. Now, in this particular case, you can see that we have all of the different details on the item itself. So this is a kid's tablet. And if you click here where it says color, you can see all of the different variations. You can see that the current market price is about $7.30. And if you scroll down, you're going to see a little tab that says profit on it. This is the potential profit that you can make off of selling this item. So the price I just gave you, $7.30, that's going to be your sourcing cost. That's how much you're going to pay for the item. And under the profit tab where it says being sold for, that's about the average for what this item is being sold for. And that gives you a potential profit of about $17.06. Now, if you look right under that, you're going to see an example Facebook ad that's actually currently running promoting this product. This can give you somewhat of an idea of how to structure your own Facebook ad. Then if you look right next to that, you're going to see the actual audience for that Facebook ad. So you can see that this is geared towards both males and females between the ages of 18 and 45 that are married with interests in art and creativity, technology and gadgets. Then you have a little bit of extra information where it has the occupation for stay at home parents, artists and designers, teachers and homeschooling parents. Now it's important to note that these are just suggestions. You can add different demographics of people so you can target a wider audience. Then the last thing I want to show you is if you scroll down just a little bit more, you're going to see the AutoDS insights. Here you have some information on the product itself directly from AutoDS. And if you click this link right here, it's going to take you to a website that's currently selling the item as well. Next up, we have to choose our suppliers. So we have to find a reliable supplier where we can source all of our different clothing items from. And don't stick to just one, try to have multiple. Now, a few key features that you want to keep in mind here for your suppliers are the following. For one, you want to make sure that they have internet international warehouses. International warehouses means fast shipping to pretty much anywhere around the world. Going hand in hand with that, you also want them to have some fast shipping times. 
You don't want them to ship your item a month after it's been purchased. You want them to ship it at least within a week. You also want to make sure that they have a practical return policy. And on top of that, you want to make sure that they just accept returns in the first place. If your customer has any damaged goods or some low quality items received from your store, then more than likely they're going to end up contacting you back and telling you that they might want a refund or an exchange. In this case, this is when you have to reach out to your supplier so that way you can process the exchange or refund. So before getting a dedicated supplier, reach out to them, check out their frequently asked questions, or just find out what their policy is for returns and exchanges. Also, one of the biggest things that you want to make sure is that they have a wide product range. You want to make sure that they have tons of different products that you can choose from. You don't want to have a small selection where you're limited. Another thing is to check out the reviews. Make sure that they have a good amount of reviews. Usually over 30 is pretty good. And make sure you're reading also what the different reviews say. Try to stick to at least a four or four and a half out of five stars at the minimum. Now, when it comes to clothing, there's quite a few different suppliers that you can choose from. You can go with AliExpress or CG drop shipping and they have some pretty good ones you can go ahead and check out those websites and just scroll through them check out the different reviews as mentioned earlier and see which ones work best for you aside from that some other really good options that you have can include shine target and walmart now when it comes to the suppliers let me give you a little bonus so you remember how we were checking out the winning product section so let's go back over there but instead of clicking on winning products let's just go straight to the marketplace once we're on here under supplier let's switch that over to auto ds and let's switch the categories over to clothing shoes and jewelry once that loads up and you scroll down, you're going to see tons of different products that are actually shipped either from AutoDS private suppliers or AutoDS warehouse itself. Now to add the icing on the cake, this is one feature that you really don't want to miss out on. So if you see here where it says AutoDS warehouse, that means it's being shipped from the AutoDS warehouse. But on top of that, if you look, well, literally on top of that, you're going to see branding logo. What does that mean? Simply put, it just means that the item is actually going to be shipped using your logo. Now that's pretty cool, isn't it? So if you take a look over here at the screen, you're going to see that right now, what it ships with is actually just this thank you card. So there's going to be a custom thank you card with your logo on it being shipped with your item. Now, if you look around it, you're going to see some customized bags. That is just a sneak peek for what's to come. Now you need to figure out where you want to start selling your items. Do you want to sell on your own website or do you want to sell on a platform such as eBay or Etsy? This is actually going to be up to you and what you think is going to work best for you. Some people might not want to create the entire website, so they'll go on a selling platform like Etsy, whereas others, they want to brand the entire store the way that they see fit. So in that case, they're going to go with making their own website. Now, some of the best places to set up shop are going to include the following. If if you want to create your own website, it's best to use either Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce. If you want to start selling on a platform where you really don't have to worry about bringing traffic to your store, then you're going to want to be selling on something like either Facebook Marketplace, Amazon, Etsy, or eBay. Aside from customizability, one of the biggest differences between selling on your own website and selling on a platform is going to be the traffic. If you're selling on a platform such as eBay or Etsy, it's already going to have organic traffic. People are going to be going to that website with the intention to make a purchase. Whereas if you have your own website, then you're going to have to work a little bit more to be able to get that website in front of the eyes of potential customers. You can try things like Facebook ads, posting on TikTok or Instagram. And there's also quite a few other ways to be able to market your business. And if you want more information on that, just check out the cheat sheet. Next up, we need to start importing products to our store. Our store is nothing without any products in it. So there's a few different ways that we can do this. For one, you can do it manually. Doing it the manual way is perfectly fine if you prefer to do it that way. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that when you have maybe a handful of products that you want to import, it's going to take a little bit of time, probably nothing crazy. It really depends on how much you need to edit. So when it comes to this, you're going to have to copy over all of the images, copy over the title, the description, and all of the variations. Then you need to optimize everything. So you're going to need to optimize and fix any grammatical errors in the title as well as description. Now, when it comes to the images, you might have to do a little bit of editing, but that's really going to depend on the images themselves. Now, the other way to do this is the much easier way, and that's by implementing automation. So let me show you exactly how we can do this. So while we were looking through all the different products, a few of them actually stood out to me. For one, I was looking at this cardigan right here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And up here, let's go ahead and copy the link. Once we have the link copied, let's run back over to our platform at platform.autods.com. And all the way at the top on the left-hand side, you're going to see a tab that says add products. Click on that and then just simply click on single product. Once you click on that, you're going to have this little pop-up, then simply just paste the URL on there. And you're going to see that the supplier source actually changes to Walmart and it's shipping from the United States. Now we just have to click on edit now. So once that's done, it's going to be imported to your draft section where you can make any necessary edits. So as you can see here, we have it pulled up and you have all of the different details of the item itself. Now take note that we didn't have to copy absolutely anything over except for the link itself. Now here we can go ahead and change the title. We can optimize it with any necessary keywords. We can go ahead and add it to any of our Shopify collections, or we can add any tags to it so we can keep 
keep track of sales or any analytics. Then we can also change the different shipping methods. So you have cheapest, which is usually going to be the cheapest option there is, which typically doesn't come with tracking. Then you have the cheapest with the tracking and you have fastest with tracking. Aside from that, you're going to have the location of the item itself. So in this case, the US and the brand. Then you also have a few other tabs where you can make any necessary adjustments. So you can change the description here. All you have to do is click on edit description. So then aside from the descriptions tab, you also have the variants tab. On there, you have all of the different variants of the item itself. So there you can make any necessary adjustments. You can either add or delete the different variants. And you have the images tab where you can add or delete any relevant images, and you can even edit them. Next up, you have to start fulfilling orders once you start receiving them. In order to do this, you once again have two different options. You can either do this manually or you can automate the entire thing. When you do it manually, the process is going to be like this. So your customer is going to place the order on your store. You're going to copy over all of the details, go to your supplier's website, log in, look for the item, place the order, put your customer's details in there, and then pay for the item and have it shipped. Once it's shipped, you're going to have to update your customer with the tracking number. Now, the easier way to do it using automation, you also have two different options. You have automatic orders or you have fulfilled by AutoDS. With automatic orders, AutoDS is going to automatically place the order for you using your account details on your selected supplier. So let's say an order comes in and the supplier for this particular item is AliExpress. AutoDS is going to go ahead and log on to AliExpress using your credentials and make the purchase using your credit card details. Now, the other option when it comes to this is fulfilled by AutoDS. This is the preferred method because it can help with things like account restrictions and account bans. So what ends up happening in this case is instead of AutoDS placing the order under your account, it's actually going to place the order under the AutoDS account. And to make things even easier, instead of using your banking details or your credit or debit card details, it's going to use a balance that you top up. Now, last but certainly not least, one of the last things that you need to focus on when building your store is customer service. When you have your dropshipping store, customer service is all pretty much going to be on you. That's why it's extremely important to pick reliable suppliers. The faster that your supplier can get back to you is the faster that you can get back to your customer. Whenever a customer has any questions regarding their order or regarding a product, you want to make sure that you reply to those emails within at least 24 hours. Try not to go past that because customers really don't like waiting too long for an answer, especially if they're looking to place an order for a product. If they're looking to place an order for a product and you don't get back to them within a certain amount of time, more than likely what's going to happen is they're either going to forget or they're just going to move on to a different merchant. So that pretty much wraps up everything that you need to know to start building your fashion empire. Remember that if you want everything that I talked about in this video in an easy to reference cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag fashion empire along with your takeaway from this video. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS wishing you nothing but success in your dropshipping business. And if you found this video useful and informational, consider sharing it, liking, and subscribing. Huge thank you to everyone for watching today. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS, and I'll catch you all in the next video.